Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome to my channel. So today is wash day, and I figured that I would just jump on here and show you guys my little wash day routine that I follow every single Sunday. So it's just going to be a super short and sweet video, straight into the point about the products that I use and some little techniques that I have to make wash day a little bit easier. So if you're interested in hearing about my wash day routine and how it might help your wash day be a little bit easier, then just continue to watch. All right, so I am starting with some dry, frizzy day five or six hair. And so what I've actually gotten into the habit of doing on wash day is using a pre-poo. Pre-poos are something that you put in your hair to help condition it and prep it for being cleansed on wash day. I just find that when I use a pre-poo, my hair ends up a little bit more moisturized, it's a little bit more shiny, a little bit less frizzy. So yeah, this is definitely something that I've added to my routine that I use every single week. So I have been loving the main choice herbal hair tonic and soy milk deep hydration pre-poo. That is a long ass name. So they're calling it a unique herbal intense hydration blend, which is everything that I need. And I really like the fact that it's infused with biotin as well as vitamins D and E. So before I go ahead and apply my pre-poo, I'm just gonna dampen my hair just a little bit. I feel like when my hair is damp, it kind of accepts products and like soaks them in a little bit more rather than just applying it to completely dry hair. So to dampen my hair, I'm gonna use my little DIY spray that I love to use. I'll use this throughout the week to refresh my curls if they need it. This is just a mixture of water, a teensers of my favorite conditioner, and then a drop or two of castor oil and that's it. All right, so I don't wanna get my hair like too like soaking wet or anything. I just really wanted it to be a little bit damp just so it could soak in this pre-poo a little bit better. Oh, my hair looks crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the pre-poo. I am pretty heavy handed when it comes to using pre-poo. I think the more the merrier. Um, oh, I just really love this one. It feels intensely hydrating, just like how it says it is. Once the pre-poo is in, I like to just go ahead and finger detangle my hair. So this is another thing I really like about using a pre-poo. It gets you to detangle your hair before you even start washing, which I really enjoy. Oh, I just love how this feels in my hair. It's, it's legit, like just so hydrating. All right, I look crazy, but this is how I look on wash day, and I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. So now that the pre-poo is in and my hair is detangled, I like to leave it in for about 15 minutes and then I go ahead and wash it out. To wash my hair, I do not ever use shampoo. That is one thing that my curls don't like. It is too drying for my hair. It strips my hair of everything and my curls just don't like it. So instead, I co-wash. And what co-wash is, is just using a conditioner to wash your hair. Nowadays, there are specific like conditioning cleansers out there that cleanse your hair but condition it at the same time instead of just using a traditional shampoo which really just strips your hair of everything. So yeah, I'm 100% all for the co-wash. I've only ever used a shampoo in my natural hair once and after that I was like, nah. So my favorite co-wash right now is the Cara Care Honey Shea Co-wash. It is amazing. This is from their Natural Textures line which is bomb. I did a video on that so if you want to check that out I will link it somewhere up here. Mother Nature, can you relax? So this does exactly what you want a co-wash to do. Like I tell you, my hair feels super clean. There's absolutely no buildup on my hair once I use this to wash it, but it's also very conditioning and it doesn't strip my hair of the good oils that it needs. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just wait 15 minutes, let this pre-poo really soak into my hair, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Honey Shea Co-Wash to wash my hair out, and then I'll be back. All right, so my hair is now completely cleansed and also still looking very crazy, but I promise there's gonna be some point in this video where it all comes together. 
So one thing I make sure to do every single week without fail is deep condition. Deep conditioning is great for hair growth, for hair moisture retention, for preventing hair loss. There's so many reasons why it's so important for your hair. If there's one thing you take away from this video, it is that you should deep condition at least once a week without fail. So my absolute favorite deep conditioner is by Curls and it's from their Blueberry Bliss collection which is life. And this is their reparative hair mask. It is thebomb.com. It gives me super defined curls, super moisturized curls, and when I tell you that there is nothing else that gets rid of frizz like how this gets rid of frizz for me, which is a plus. So my hair is dripping all over me right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this hair mask. Oh, it's just nice and thick and oh, my hair loves this stuff. Already know, extra product is going here right in the middle where this dry patch likes to give some trouble. My curls. I just love this and the smell. So another thing that I've been starting to get into the habit of doing is actually using the Denman brush to brush out my hair while I have a deep conditioner in it. I find that it really helps me get the products like perfectly evenly distributed throughout my hair and it just makes my hair a little bit softer and, and yeah. So let's go ahead. All right, so once the deep conditioner is evenly distributed, my hair is detangled and everything, I like to let that sit in my hair for as long as I possibly can, sometimes an hour. But when I'm letting my deep conditioner sit, I don't just let it sit like this. So what I'll do is apply a shower cap and then use my thermal hothead. This is my favorite thing ever. So this is not your regular degular shower cap. It's got some beads in here. So what you do is you stick it in the microwave Obviously the beads are going to get hot and then you stick it on your head. The added heat to your hair is going to allow for greater absorption of the deep conditioner that you have in your hair. So this is almost like having your own at home hair dryer, except easier. This is going to be real cute to do on camera. And then I've just heated this up, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Super cute. Most times what I'll do while my hair is deep conditioning is I'll multitask. Sometimes I'll do a face mask, sometimes I'll be editing other videos, or sometimes I'll just be Netflixing. Now I'm just gonna let my hair sit, let this deep conditioner do its thing, and then I'm gonna wash it out and be back to show you guys how I like to style my hair on wash day. All right, so I just went ahead and washed out the deep conditioner and my hair feels amazing as always. This is just my all-time favorite deep conditioner. So in terms of styling on wash day, I like to get as much definition as I possibly can. So that way my curls will last through the week. So yeah, on wash day, I'm really aiming for less volume, more curl definition. So first I start off by sealing in all of this moisture with some oil. My current favorite oil is the Healing Plus Vitamin E Penetrating Oil by OGX. This is bomb. It is moisturizing but still very lightweight. My hair does not like heavy oils. So this one I find is like perfect. And then after oil, I always follow up with leave-in conditioner. My favorite for wash day is another product from the Blueberry Bliss line from Curls which is their reparative leave-in conditioner. This is the bomb.com, especially when used in conjunction with the Blueberry Bliss reparative hair mask. Let me tell you, this is how I get my best wash day ever. Whenever I use these two from the Blueberry Bliss line together, my hair is like popping. All right, and then the last styling product that I'm gonna use for my wash day success is gonna be some gel. My ultimate favorite is the Curl Maker by Camille Rose. I absolutely love this brand itself. It's a brand that I can trust. They use natural, more healthy ingredients for your hair. And the Curl Maker itself is just the bomb.com. It gives you that definition without 
too much crunch, there's absolutely zero flaking, and it's honestly, like, this makes my hair so shiny that it's just, it's just bomb. Ooh, definition! It's happening! And then after that, I just let it air dry. And that's pretty much it for my wash day routine. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I literally do this religiously every single Sunday. Sunday is my wash day. I just wake up and I tend to my hair first and foremost before I do anything else. It's extremely important to have a specific hair care regimen for your hair if you want it to grow and flourish and be healthy. This is my regimen and this is what I like to do for my curls. But it's important to note that everyone's hair is different, so different products will work differently in different curls. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with me and my natural hair journey. I'll see you guys in my next video, which I will conveniently leave right here. Bye!